The latest exhibition at the LDM Gallery is Supper, Sleep and Sorrow by Sikalela Owen as part of Black History Month Florence. The works appear familiar and yet are not easily decipherable. The London-based painter is a fine arts graduate of the Chelsea College of Art and Design and the Royal Academy School of Arts. Her paintings explore traditional techniques combined with the contemporary and personal subject matter, reflecting on nourishment, repose, mourning, as well as grappling with ideas of communality and faded histories. The paintings were realised during the artist's time at the British School of Rome in 2019 and are exhibited here as part of Black History Month Florence, this year with the theme Obligato. So the main things in my artworks are intimacy, community, and um, just about the everyday experience, which is you know, a reflection of the communities of which I'm part of. Um, so in this particular instance, it's about sleep, loss, and memory. So there's lots of imagery, like there's a collage of imagery that takes place, some very contemporary, in fact, most of it very contemporary, but then I'll be looking at historical photographs, which will be of um, you know, my dad's grandparents and all these sort of things about when they came to England. So I think that, yeah, there's a lot of um, different themes, but mainly about community. Um, my artworks in this particular exhibition, the main themes are memorial, community and intimacy, which is kind of the main theme of all my artwork. So a lot in this, there are a lot of sleeping figures. So um, I'm using sort of sleep as a stand-in for a level of intimacy, which you only, you know, people don't go to sleep around people who are dangerous to them in general. Um, so there's a level of intimacy with that and closed eyes and that idea of trust and this exchange. So that's kind of one of the big things that I'm looking at. And also um, because I'm thinking about Memorial and a lot of the people in this, well, a couple of people in this image have been lost. Um, there's that idea of, you know, sleep and visually off sometimes looking like death with the closed eyes and, and you know, my role as um, a visual artist in contemporary society is to just tell lots of different stories and I think that's what most artists have done, um, especially people who make figurative art, you're always telling a story, whether it's a grand story about nobility or whether it's a story about a clip of someone's life and I think that it just helps to have lots of different narratives and lots of different ideas and um, it adds to how we think about identity, cultural things, mediation, and all the things that just make up one's daily life. Well, I've not studied for a really long time here, but I was three months in Rome, and one of the things that I really think, um, coming from London, which is very contemporary art, and then coming uh, to Rome was, I think, I realized how much or how important it was to see work where it was originally meant to be. So the galleries are amazing, but I think just being able to walk into chapels and see these amazing pieces of work where they're meant to be and um, in this amazing setting is something that I think students should take a lot of advantage from.